Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you're all doing very well. I have another very interesting topic for you today. Do you remember what we studied about adaptations in animals? Very good. Today we're going to learn more about it. In the previous videos we studied what terrestrial animals are and we studied how animals adapt themselves to their surroundings. We also studied about the different type of animals in the terrestrial animal category. Today we are going to learn about two more types arboreal animals and aerial animals. Let's start with arboreal animals. Have you seen a monkey? No, not in a zoo. In the videos where they are climbing trees, maybe in some National Geographic videos. Aren't they so interesting? Have you seen them? Have you seen how they grasp the tree branch or even use their tails? That is because they are arboreal animals. But what are arboreal animals? These animals spend a lot of time on trees. But why is that? because their bodies have adapted to live in trees. They have long, strong limbs and sharp claws to climb. Just in monkeys, they climb trees and grip the branches because they have adapted to staying or hanging on trees. Likewise, have you seen a leopard? The leopard sometimes take their prey on trees or above the ground to avoid the predators that might compete with their food. Jab leopards, jo ke predator hai, kisi aur ka shikar karte hai, yani when they catch a prey, they take their food to the trees so they can eat them, taake koi aur animal unse compete na kare, na unka prey unse chheen ke le jaye. Chameleons are also arboreal animals. Have you seen a chameleon? It changes its color according to its surroundings. But its another characteristic is that they have strong claws like feet and have a very strong tail. That is so they can grip branches. Their tails help the arboreal animals to balance their bodies because their body weight sometimes goes off balance so the tail is there to help them. Wasn't it so interesting? Now let's learn about aerial animals. Maybe you can understand what I'm going to tell you from its name. Yes, these animals can fly in the air. That is why they are called aerial animals. I hope you know which animals can fly in the air birds, sometimes insects and there is one mammal as well that can fly in the air. I will tell you about it later. Aerial animals have wings to fly. They have very strong muscles which helps them to move their wings and their another feature is that they are very lightweight. They have hollow bones. They have hollow bones so they are very lightweight. That also helps them to fly because if they were heavy, it would have been very difficult to fly. Now, there are birds and then there are mammals. Can you guess which mammal can fly? Let me tell you. Bats. Although bats are mammals, they are not birds, but they still have wings. They can fly. Jo unke wings hote hain, they are not covered with feathers like birds. They are made of flaps of skins. That is what helps them fly. Okay, now you must have seen insects fly as well. Hai na? They also have wings, but their wings are very delicate. But their bodies are also very light. That is what helps them to fly. Now this was aerial animals. Today we learned about arboreal animals which live on trees 
and aerial animals which can fly. Wasn't it interesting? If you know about more examples of these two types, please comment below. And to watch more videos about more animals and more types, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.